Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic and that is jock itch. So let's get started. So what is jock itch? Jock itch, which is also commonly known as the fungal groin infection or tinea cruris, is an infection of the groin with a dermatophyte fungus. It is most often seen in adult men because the moisture easily gets trapped between their scrotum and their thigh. The disease most frequently occurs in warm weather or when wearing wet and tight clothing. People who are obese are also at risk because their skin folds trap moisture. The infection begins in the skin folds of the genital area and can spread to the upper inner thighs and may actually occur on both sides. The most common species of fungus involved in this infection includes Trichophyton rubrum and Trichophyton mentagrophytes. So from this definition of jock itch, we get that it's actually this fungal infection which occurs most commonly in men between their scrotum and their thighs, but the infection can actually spread to the inner thighs. So the infection is much more common in the warmer months of the year and occurs when one wears tight or wet clothing, which causes some moisture to build up between the thigh and the inner fatty folds because the infection can actually occur in women as well. So the actual organisms which are responsible for causing this infection include two species of fungi. And the first one is called Trichophyton rubrum. And this is actually what the microscopic aspect of this fungus looks like. And then we can also have Trichophyton mentagrophytes, which can also be a causative organism. So the main problem in this disease is actually that moisture or sweat buildup which occurs in the inner thigh and this is the perfect breathing ground for fungus. Fungus likes warm, dark and moist areas in which they can thrive and this is what actually causes the disease to begin. So now that we know what the basics of jock itch is, let's take a closer look at how one can contract this disease. So jock itch is caused by a group of fungi called dermatophytes. These fungi naturally live on our skin and normally don't cause any problems, so they exist as part of our normal flora. However, when one remains in sweat-soaked clothes after exercising, the lengthy exposure to moisture can allow these fungi to multiply quickly. And when one has an overgrowth of these dermatophytes in the groin area, it causes the infection known as jock itch. The fungus that causes jock itch is highly contagious as well. So this means that one may get the fungal infection through close personal contact with an infected person or through contact with unwashed clothing, bedding or towels of the infected person. So as we can see here, if a male contracts the disease through that sweat buildup and constant moisture in that inner thigh area, he can actually transmit the infection to his female counterpart. Because this infection can actually be spread quite quickly through close personal contact with an infected person. So this is also something to keep in mind. One doesn't just get the disease staying in their moist or wet clothes for a long period, but they can actually contract the disease from a partner if they come into contact with unwashed clothing, bedding, towels, or even close skin contact with an infected person. The signs and symptoms of jock itch. So typically the groin becomes itchy and a bit sore, mainly in the crease between the top of the leg and the genitals. So as we mentioned before, the disease is more common in men and the scrotum may also be very itchy. Red, slightly scaly skin then develops in the groin and usually with a definitive edge or border. So as we can see, there's a definitive edge to the rash and it's usually very red and scaly and quite itchy and uncomfortable for the patient. So both sides are commonly affected. As we can see, the infection may start on the right side and then may spread to the left side but commonly both sides will become infected and the rash often spreads a short way down the inside of both thighs. So as we can see, the rash can actually spread down to the bottom bits of the inner thighs. The diagnosis of jock itch. So the diagnosis of tinea cruris is usually obvious to doctors based on the physical examination. If the diagnosis is not obvious, Doctors may do a skin scraping and examine it under a microscope to be sure that the rash is actually caused by a fungus. So the typical aspect of the rash is usually a dead giveaway and we can actually diagnose this infection based on the clinical examination. 
But in some cases, if we are not sure or if we want to accurately confirm the diagnosis, we can do a skin scraping test. So here, little bits of the rash is actually scraped. And then we send these samples off to a lab where they can be explored microscopically. And we can actually look for those specific fungi under the microscope and we'll be able to confirm the diagnosis accurately in this way. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of jock itch. So tinea cruris is usually treated with topical antifungal agents. Antifungal choices include terbinafine, myconazole, clotrimazole, ketoconazole, econazole, naftafine, and uncommonly cyclopyrox. And the creams are usually applied two times a day for about 10 to 14 days. And that brings us to the end of this video on Jock Itch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.